All praise. Go to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Peace and safety to the hopefully elect, all the sincere brothers pushing the Heavenly Father's word out of a pure heart in sincerity and in truth. And for everybody that don't know Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father who the world ignorantly calls God. And Yahweh Shah, that's the name of the only begotten Son who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And in this edition, I'm going to suppose this gorilla Hebrew uh, character, man. This hypocrite, this actor. The reason I call him an actor because he's acting righteous. He portraying to be a righteous man when he's a wicked, basically ape, a wicked monkey. Uh, that's who he refers himself to as a, a gorilla. As a gorilla. Um, just one more of these guys, uh, with these flattering titles, uh, that's, that's, that's basically a stage, a stage name. All right. Because these guys are actually hypocrites and I'm going to prove it to you in this, uh, video and show you that this guy is not qualified to be teaching the Bible. He's not qualified to be teaching the Bible. And here's the proof. Sounded and I fifth trumpet, read. And I saw a star fall from heaven. Uh, a star fall from heaven. So when you deal with stars and falling vividly, right? That's done with people coming out of power, right? Because that star is up in the sky shining, right? This is maybe a king, a prince, like you call Yahweh the star that shall come out of Jacob, right? So a star is dealing with a king or a prince. A star fell out of heaven, read. Star fell from heaven unto the earth, uh -huh. and to him was given the key of the body. So when it, when it says somebody falls from heaven to earth. They're coming out of power. He had the key at the bottom of his pit. This is talking about the last emperor of Europe, which name is Kaiser Wilhelm. So World War I was done. So now according to uh, Gorilla, according to this ape, to this monkey, the star that fell from heaven that was given the keys to the bottomless pit is referring to an Edomite, Kaiser Warham. That's not biblical. And that's why this guy don't have any precepts to back that lie up. Basically, that's a doctrine that's taught by GMS uh, Tahar. That's straight out of the book of Tahar, chapter 6, verse 66. Uh, the wicked ass elder of GMS teach that this star is referring to an Edomite. Kaiser Warham, Kaiser Warham, World War One, which that is complete madness. This is prophecy that haven't happened yet. This is not dealing with history. This is not dealing with history. And I'm going to show you that through the precepts. I have done many videos on this chapter, um, breaking it down, precept upon precept, line upon line. Showing you that this is dealing with prophecy, the revealing of who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shah. So, this is Revelation chapter 9 and 1. It says, And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven into the earth. And I want to deal with that star to show you uh, that that's not dealing with no damn Edomite, man. That's. That's called a conoclism. Whitewashing the scriptures, basically, man. All right, so let's get uh, the book of Matthews. Book of Matthews. And if you ask these guys to prove that madness, they couldn't prove it, man. Because that mess is not biblical. All right, so here's the star. Uh, Matthews 2 and 2. Saying, where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. And these are the same guys that say we don't supposed to worship Yahweh Shah. The same hypocrite actors, all right, that say that we don't supposed to worship Yahweh Shah. So now we see that Yahweh Shah is that star. Yahweh Shah is that star. Um, we could prove it 
even further. Uh, let's get another precept. Uh, now let's go back to Revelation chapter 9 and verse 1. So it says, and the, and the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven, fall from heaven into the earth, meaning to descend. The same way in Revelation chapter 7 and verse 2, where it says, and I saw another angel, that angel um, represent Yahweh Shai, ascending from the east, that star, all right, that star, the king of the Jews, referring to Yahweh Shai, ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power, having the seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud, loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, basically giving uh, his host commandments, man. All right. Because he's the leader, he's the general, he's the chief. He's the one that give the commands. So it says, uh, saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their forehead. So that's an example of that star falling from heaven, ascending from the east. Okay. Now let's go back to Revelation 9. And one, it says, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit, that key symbolizing the authority. He was given authority from Yahweh, the heavenly father, to give those commands to the hosts of heaven, which are the angels, the four sword judgments that standing on the four corners of the earth. So that's what that's representing. It's not dealing with. Um, Kaiser Warham is not dealing with World War One. This is dealing with prophecy. This is dealing with prophecy, not history. When you read Revelation one and one, it says the revealing of Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, the revealing of Yahweh Shai. That's what Revelation means to reveal. So this is the revealing of Yahweh Shai at his second coming. This is not dealing with World War One, man. Okay, so uh, let's get another precept. Revelation 22. Let's see. Revelation 22 and 16. This is uh, Revelation chapter 22 and verse 16. It says, I, Yahweh Shai, have sent my angels to testify to you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. So this that's the star that ascended from the east that had the authority, meaning the key to the bottomless pit. The bottomless pit representing the judgment of the Lord. I also have a video on my channel going into the bottomless pit showing you what that's referring to okay that's the judgment of the lord that's what's coming out of those bottomless out of that bottomless pits by the way of the angel the host the lord's army man okay so uh let's get another precept revelation 1 and 18 this is the book of Revelation, chapter 1, and verse 18. And it says, I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore, amen, and have the keys of hell and death. That's the key. That's the authority. Uh, that Yahweh Shai got from the Heavenly Father to release those angels, to give those angels commands uh, out of the bottomless pit, man. Okay, it's not dealing with World War One. all right? Death and hell, that's what's coming out of the bottomless pit. By the way of the angels, at the commandments of Yahweh Shai, who is, which is, who is the star with the authority. Okay? 
And there's more proof that this these guys are not qualified to teach the Bible. These guys are hypocrites, man. Look up the word hypocrite. All right? They're nothing but actors, man. They playing righteous. Playing righteous, man. This, these guys are not righteous men. All right? So let's go back to Revelations chapter 9 and jump down to verse 11 to show you who that star is referring to. Like I said, I have an extensive breakdown on my channel, several videos going into this whole chapter, breaking it down um, line by line, showing you the biblical interpretation of what this is referring to. Like I said, that's a breakdown that this guy got from that wicked elder, another hypocrite, wicked Pharisee, uh, to hard man. These guys be winging it, man. They don't have any precepts to back up that um, Revelation 9 and 1 referring to Kaiser Warham. They don't have any precepts to prove that, man. That's a perfect example of a private interpretation, man. So this is Revelation 9 and 11. It says, and they, the they is referred to the Angels, those same angels in Revelation 7 and 2, Salakia 7 and 1, standing on the four corners of the earth, who Yahweh Shai commanded not to hurt the earth or the sea until the elect is sealed. So it says, and they had a king, this king representing Yahweh Shai, that same star that ascended from the east over them which is the angel of the bottomless pit. He's the one with the authority. He's the one with the keys to death and hell. That's what's coming out of that bottomless pit, death and hell, by the way of the four sword judgments, which are the host, uh, uh, the host, the Lord's host, which are his army. So it says, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Am Amadon. Let's look up that. And as you can see on your screen, it says destruction because that's what Yahweh Shai is returning to this earth with destruction. Destruction. So now let's get, let's read on. It says, but in the Hebrew tongue, but in the Greek tongue has the name Apollyon, which means the same thing. As you can see, destroyer, the angel of the bottomless the angel of the bottomless pit, the destroyer, which is Yahweh Shai. He's the one in Revelation 7 giving the commands. All right? He's the one with the authority. He's the one with the keys to death and hell. That's what's coming out the bottomless pit. Death and hell, meaning judgment, man. So, uh, let's get one last precept. Let's prove that. That destroyer is dealing with Yahweh Shai. The king over uh, the king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit. Uh, let's see. Let's go to the book of Exodus. The book of Exodus, chapter 12 and 23. Let's see. This is Exodus 12 and 23. And it says, for the Lord will pass through to smite the Egyptians, the same way he's coming back to smite Babylon. It says, and when he <clears throat> seeth the blood upon the lintel and on the two side posts, the Lord will pass over. We know Yahweh Shai is known as the Passover, the door, and will not suffer the destroyer the destroyer to come into the, your house and smite you. All right? Because that was Yahweh Shai passing over, a.k.a. the destroyer. All right? The king of, uh, of the angels, the king of the bottomless pit, the angel of the bottomless pit, the one uh, with the keys, with the authority, the star of the show, man, Yahweh Shai, not Kaiser Warham. 
not cause of war here unless it's an example of a private interpretation. And it's a conoclism. And it's adding and taking away from the Lord's word. And we know the judgment, the judgment for taking and add, adding and taking away from the Lord's words, man. They're going to be written out of the book of life, man. The plagues of this book are going to be added onto those guys, man. So, so whoever followed that madness, that this uh, this monkey, all right, call itself gorilla, Hebrew. Whoever followed that madness, you're gonna fall in a ditch right along with this clown, and the rest of those clowns that teach uh, private interpretations, that re remove the Lord and put an Edomite in the Lord's stead, whitewashing the scriptures the same way the so-called white man do. That's why I said, ye of your father the devil, man, and the lust of your father ye will do. Replace the Lord, the star of the show, with an Edomite, man. And basically that's the point. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom.